Um, we're cutting the B board up for the receptacles and all that. I don't know. Most people that do it all the time knows how to do it. But for those of y'all that are tackling it yourself. Um, because his wife doesn't know how, so he thought maybe I'm not the only one. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe not. What I did is I went in there and I just draw me a little print of the board that I'm putting up. And I measured on all my out all my uh, receptacles and switches and marked them on this print. I measured from the bottom every time and I'm measuring from the existing sheet that's up every time. So don't do a template for every one of them at one time because yeah, the um, sheet you put up could throw it off. A I bit. have started my template for my next one, but I've only got the height of the receptacles. I don't have how far over because I don't have that sh this sheet up yet, so I don't know exactly what my dimensions will be on that. Uh, another thing you need to make sure you remember... Once you draw it off on your paper, since you're cutting this from the back side, which is best because it it won't chip your front, if you cut it from the back, it'll leave you good clean cuts on the front. Because uh, the way your saw blade comes in, it pulls through it, whereas the other way it's pushing. If you turn it over and cut from the top, then your blade's pushing through it. And it'll chip it out. Um, but what I'm doing, since I'm doing this, I'm going to have to do mirror image. Anything I write down here is just the opposite when I draw it out on my sheet. So this receptacle is on, on my paper is on that side. So therefore, it's going to be on the bottom this side. And I'm measuring off the bottom every time. Even when I get up to the ones on top, I'll measure from the bottom. Because my bottom won't change. I'm cutting the top part of my pet sheet off by oh, about nine inches off the top. So I always want to come off the bottom because it's not going to change. Um... All right, um, I'm going to quit talking now and get to measuring because I'm not as good as my wife. I can't do it, but one thing at a time. So that's 15 and an eighth, 17 and a quarter. Okay, I haven't done anything with my hair today. <laughs> Don't want to be on camera just yet, but I'll fix my hair. I don't catch it like that every day and it don't kill me. <laughs> Does she ever brush her hair? <laughs> okay. What am I doing? Oh, I'm... Uh, where's my mark? Okay, go ahead. I'm on it. Oh, got another one. You want it? Yeah. Now, if y'all noticed, I, I just drew. I want to make sure the camera's still on. The line this. on the top and the bottom. The reason why is I've got more than one receptacle going in here. I've got them all the same height inside. So I'll mark that and that way it gives me height. Then all I have to do is mark my width from the from each one of the yeah from the seam. And my first one, now remember this is mirrored so I'm going to go from here to the receptacle which is going to be on the other side because on this one that's on this side on my drawing so it's going to be on the other side 
I'm going to move that over there. While you're doing that, I'm going to start staining this last cabinet. But I'm going to measure from that side. And put that up above it. I've got a 33 and a 36 and a quarter. And then my other receptacle is a 44 and a quarter and a 53 and a three quarter. 44 and a quarter. That ain't right. 53. Oh, 40. 44 and a quarter. Lord, I can't read my own writing. 41. 44 and a quarter and a 41. Just get it right. <laughs> well, the measurements weren't coming out right. 41. 44 and a quarter. And if you notice, I put little X's on them. That way I know that's the part that I'm getting rid of. I don't have to worry about when I'm going to cutting them out. It's going the wrong direction. Okay, I got one more receptacle on this one. It'll be back over on that corner. Something I uh, would suggest, and you can get them fairly cheap. Uh, Harbor Freight probably is your cheapest. Yeah, your Harbor Freight's your cheapest. I've got one from Harbor Freight, and then I've got this one. <clears throat> the only thing I've noticed is the one I got from Harbor Freight, it is not a true square. It is off a little bit. This one is now off a little bit because somebody stepped on it. That would be me. And bent it. Because somebody left it on the floor. No, it fell over. Do you blame the person left on the floor or the person who stepped on it? You guys leave a comment below and let me know. It fell over. <laughs> we'll have a big debate. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Which Who's that fault? The one that left it on the floor or the one who stepped on it on the floor? They're, they're real nice to have, especially when you're doing because they're over. They're just right at four, four foot. Four foot, yeah. I mean, they are... Well, you can see Within where... I like an eighth inch of being four yeah, foot. Yeah, the last eighth inch, I always have to just fill it in. So it makes it real nice for doing a four foot sheet. Uh, we have a... He, I actually... This is actually my saw. This is very saw. It's a I, battery, and it's just a little four incher, so it's perfect for me. But he's been using it on the speed board because it works pretty good. it's five incher. Is it five? Because it works really good for the speed board, and you don't have cords in your way. So, don't use it on a 2 by 4 That won't work. Run the battery instead. Do you need me? Is there one in here? Or? Yeah, here, take this and then swap them out. Swap them out. Hang on, guys. And I'm a short person, so I can't go all the way across the board for the
<laughs> we have a lot of light switches and a lot of plugs. There you go. I think I'm going to turn this off now. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to bring that sheet in that he's been showing you guys to cut on. And if you see the brown cardboard over here, that's where we're putting the windows. That's We just kind of have those marked. We haven't drilled our holes on it because we'll wait until we get the bead board on it. But we have to put that up there so we don't forget to, to do that and make sure we get them in the right place that we want them in between the right studs. So, um, we've got that up there measured a little bit, kind of, sort of, and, um, uh, and we're going to get this next speed board and the window video is going to be a video all by itself. So you see a little bit of window going on here, but we'll explain all this in the window video and I've started it and I've also started a mini split video. So there's going to be a couple of different specific job specific videos coming pretty soon. Okay, so now we're hanging that piece of beadboard up. So I'm just going to show you guys how he does that. He's pulling this electric stuff through. That one's way up high there because I've got a microwave going above the refrigerator. So that's plugs for that one. I just got to get to all these other plugs. It's amazing how nice beadboard makes the walls look. Even if it is cheap, cheap, lightweight stuff. You need my help over here for anything? Or do you have it? Looks like he has it. And don't forget, he did kill all the power to these, these, uh, all this stuff. So he's not going to get electrocuted. Oh, spray foam. It's hanging up on it. And, um, and, and Rusty has, Rusty has, he could probably tell you several stories because he's worked with electricity for many, many years. And so, yes, he has been electrocuted a few times. Um, but oh, so far, just 110. Um, no, I've been hit by 220. You've been hit by 220. That will throw him. He's, but what the. One story he has is always go and kill your own breaker breaker box switches because don't, don't rely on somebody else because so far every time I've been hit by electric, especially the 220, I had somebody else go turn the breaker off. Bad mistake. Yeah, so he said he's learned that. He said I just go and always take the time take that three minutes to go kill my own power because that way I know I'm not gonna get hit. <laughs> Uh, there's your tip of the day. Looks good. Yeah, looks good, guys. Okay, so you saw how he Have showed you tip. how he measured it and how he did that. And uh, got it in here, pulled his plugs through, and in just a minute, he'll be plugging. The next thing he's going to do is he puts all the plugs back in, and then I get the job going. And how many do I need over there? I need what? One? Two light? No, just one light, right? And how many electric? Three electric? One light and three electric. So, I get to do this part of it. I get the easy part. And I think I showed you guys the other day. We um, let me turn this, flip this camera around for a second, so you guys can see that. See the black one? We put the white face around it, but that black one lets me know that that's the water pump switch and not a light switch. So we just, it, you know, everything else is white, but we did that one in black intentionally for that purpose. So maybe you know, if you're doing your your a water pump switch, you might think about maybe changing the color just a little bit. Or if you've already done your switch, you could always just change it out and put a different color of face plate around it. But I did that because we don't full time in ours. So every time I use it, every couple of months, we'll come out here, I'll be going, which one was the water pump? <laughs> now I know. Okay, am I ready to put the rest of these covers on now? Yeah. You're done? Okay. All right. That's probably about all that we can really show you or help you with with beadboard. If you have any questions, just let us know. 
This may be a short video by itself because that's all we're going to really be working on today is be bored. Um, oh, he's going to show you guys real quick. He's just going to brad nail this up now. You can see what he's doing. Let you see what's going on here. And um, then I'll probably go ahead and just put this video because I'm going to keep the window, the windows and the mini split by itself. We did pump down the old mini split yesterday and installed our son's 24,000 BTU mini split. But uh, we kind of wanted to get this done. We're ready to get some windows in here. It's, it is getting hot, so that air conditioning will be coming very soon. And as soon as we do finish the install on our AC, so we can just put it all together in one video, then all of that posted. And then the windows is gonna be by itself also because it's gonna be a big job. So I'm gonna put it in the middle of other stuff. But he thought you guys might want to see how an easy way to measure your bee board and to get it up. So that's how we do it. I'm sure there's more ways, but that's how we do it. And it works pretty simple for us. Okay, guys, in case this is it for this video, I will say goodbye right here. Um, please join us on the next video. And if you would, subscribe because I'm getting a lot of personal messages from people that are really thankful. I know our videos aren't great because we're not videographers or anything like that. But um, we're getting a lot of people that are really thankful for these. So if you guys subscribe, it's free. We get to, we get to reach out to more people in the community and maybe even introduce other people who did not realize that there's a cargo building community out there. So please like, please subscribe. And let's just reach as many people as we can because we have an awesome community with the cargo builders. Um, so thank you for staying tuned today and we'll see you guys next time.